everyone, Miss Berber here, and today we are going to talk about peace. Peace is a feeling, usually described as feeling calm. A lot of people say we feel peace when we are quiet and still, but guess what? Peace feels different for everyone. So some people feel peace when they're being loud or singing or moving with sports or dancing. I feel peace when I'm with my family or when I'm making art. And today we're gonna talk about feeling peace when we are having fun. So since I'm an art teacher, I'm gonna show you some games online that we can play to have some fun and feel some peace. Our first website we're gonna look at is colormandala.com. Mandalas are these repetitive circle designs that a lot of people say makes us feel peace. There's a lot to choose from. After you pick color, you can use these arrows to find different mandalas that you like. Once you've got one, choose it. And then we are going to color it. There's all these different colors on the side. You can choose some custom colors. I'm just gonna use the default. And then the cool thing are these different types of cursors. You're gonna find that there's lots of dots on there. I've got eight dots so that wherever my dot is touching is gonna to color that. This is just gonna make it go a little faster so that we can have this beautiful mandala. I'm gonna speed it up a little so you can see what I've done. Coloring makes people feel peace sometimes and there's lots of stuff online. There's this and then there's even, you can look up Disney has coloring sheets. There's lots out there. That's it. And you can choose to go back and find a different one or you can download it to your computer, print it out or start completely over. Our next fun website is jigzone.com. This is a jigsaw puzzle website that has lots of different themes. We're gonna choose art puzzles and then fine art. And you can see there's lots of art puzzles from lots of different famous artists. I'm going to pick this Starry Night by Van Gogh and see what I can do with it. It's a really fun way to get these puzzles in and it's got a really cool kind of clicking noise to know that you've got it right. This took me about five minutes. Let's see if you can beat my score. Next, we are going to go to color.method.ac. This is a color matching game. You're just going to click in the center of the circle to start, and then you're just matching the color around the outside to what is in the center. It's a little timer that counts down as well. After that, we're gonna match a little bit harder. You gotta pick lighter or darker or grayer colors. Next is complementary, which we know are opposite colors on the color wheel. And then analogous, which are three colors that are close to each other. It gets harder and harder as we move on. Triadic are three colors that kind of make a little triangle. And last are the tetradic, which are four colors. It's a little difficult. I got a eight. So if you want to try to beat my score, let's see what you got. Now let's check out Artsology.com. This is a really cool website with lots of different art materials on it, but for today's video, we're going to look at art games and start with page one. And you'll see there are lots of little mini games on here that are based on famous artwork and famous artists. Some of my favorites is this breakout game where you're knocking out this pixelated version to show the real painting of the girl with the pearl earring. There's also Surrealist Frogger, where you're jumping this frog to the top of the page. I will admit that I cannot beat this, so let's see if some of you can. And another favorite of mine is Keith Haring Pinball. And you'll just see that there's lots of really cool mini games that you can have fun while looking at famous artwork. 
I have saved my favorite for last. This is quickdraw.withgoogle.com. The people who have created this have taught this computer to recognize simple drawings. So your task is to quickly draw something that it can guess what it is. And the computer is kind of funny sometimes what it says. I see shoe, or pond, or submarine, or flying saucer, or cooler. I see hot dog, or stereo. Oh, I know, it's pool. I see boomerang, or moon, or bracelet, or circle. I see bear. I have no clue what you're drawing. <laughs> I see dog. Oh, I know, it's panda. I see nail. Or square. Or suitcase. Oh, I know, it's French fries. I see me, or circle, or golf club, or sword. I see baseball bat. Oh, I know, it's clarinet. I see rainbow, or ear. Oh, I know, it's pear. I see bench, or square, or oven, or dresser. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I know, it's calendar. So there you see my six drawings. You can see it's a little hard to draw on the mouse pad of a laptop but I did my best. And now if we click on any of these drawings, you can see things that were similar to what you drew, like my pool also looked like a shoe or a cello according to this. And you can also see what other people drew of that same object. So I had a lot of fun making this and I hope that you can find a little piece and have a little fun while you're checking these different games out. Stay safe and stay creative, everyone. Miss you.